So I'm assuming this episode's gonna be more of a fun, upbeat type of one before we get into some of the crazy darkness later in the season, just because this one's called Have a Merry Christmas. It's Christmas time, it's snowing, and I want some happiness before we get into that utter darkness. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 5, Episodes uh, 13 and 14, I'm pretty sure. Last episode, we ended off with Bakugo and Todoroki having their provisional license so they can are able to do hero work and not have to worry about legal ramifications. And we also had Monoma trying to copy Ares' quirk, learning about the blanks and how if it's a quirk that requires like multiple parts like in terms of a quirk that absorbs energy he can't just have the energy already absorbed he needs it. yeah yeah it gets I, I love the detail i love the detailed descriptions they get into when it comes to quirks and how they interfere and interact with other quirks and stuff like that but i'm excited to find out what happens how we get into that next art because that's the biggest thing i'm looking forward to i'm also super excited i think either because february is really close to starting february either this month february or next month march is going to be when i'm going to start movie reactions and so i am going to be doing the my hero movies at some point relatively soon i haven't seen any of them i know the if you guys could confirm or correct me i'd really appreciate this i know the first movie takes place during in between seasons two and three i'm pretty sure the one with like the all might on the island and david shield and all that um, then there's the other one, Two Heroes Rising or something like that. I think that's after season four, but in between season five. And then we have the Three Musketeers or the Three Something movie that just came out, or I don't even know if it's even out yet, but that one's like in between, see, like in the middle of season five. If you guys can confirm just so I know exactly at what point I'm watching these movies, I'd really appreciate that. But don't forget to check out that Patreon um if you guys want early access or full length of this show and all the other shows i'm watching four episodes ahead great deal great exclusive content we have requests over there from other people that are only available on patreon so make sure to go check that out don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into this my hero academia season 5 episodes 13 and 14 this one's called have a merry christmas let's hop into it nine days ago the seeds of they always do this with my hero they plant these seeds like they're literally just saying the seeds of disaster but literally city level destruction this is like some one punch man level of destruction Is this why some people were saying, I, I know a few people were upset about the pacing in terms of My Hero saying they did some stuff in a weird order compared to the manga. I wonder if that has to do with this. I'm curious. I'm curious because that came out of nowhere. But then you have Todoroki being as badass as ever. This was recorded. I like it. They're already getting some, some fame. Are they getting an interview already at the school? Shouts out to these two. Come on, you have to be professional for the cameras, Bakugo. Remember when you remember when you were with Best Genius? This is what he was talking about. You can't have that ferocious attitude. <laughs> that is funny. Obviously, they would have to do that. Yeah, 100%. So that was nine days before now. The writing to destruction, writing with 20 people. So without spoilers, if you guys could let me know what the issues people had with the pacing of the season, if you guys could let me know, I'd appreciate that. Mount Lady and Midnight? Where's Mineta? <laughs> And she's been an up-and-coming hero who's been getting a lot of exposure lately. So, makes sense why they, we would need to talk about how to handle TV and interviews and stuff like that. So casual. That's a good answer. It's a good answer. <laughs> so oblivious. 
Whoa, don't show us, but hey, okay. I guess if it's a spectacle, content for the show. Heaven Piercing Ice Wall. I won't lie, that's a dope name. Cause it pierces the heavens. Flash Freeze Heat Wave. The one that looked like he was about to do the fucking a crazy fist. Yeah, that Flash Fire Fist. Oh. So if that's the thing we can uh, try to attain, that's the level we can try to be. That's gonna be dope. I'm kind of excited. I know Todoroki can do it too. I see. <laughs> that's a good in-universe reason as to why they do that. You know, it's an anime thing, but that's a good in-universe reason. I like that. No blood flows behind me. That's dope, honestly. This is where our issue lies. He could be a could be a non-media hero like Eraser. Deku is a very shy kid to his heart, to his core. So I understand this. Look at him. He looks like a he literally Lego. He's a Lego. That's hilarious. What <laughs> did that guy learn to do with my hardening? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I just put a lock on it, but it's still there. Yeah, but look at those locks. That's a fuck ton of locks. So, it's exactly the same principles, uh, one for all. Just do it with Black Whip. Use the percentage you can, try to master that. Okay. He is hyped at that too. He's like, hey, that's progress. He's gassed. <laughs> Notes, quirks of past users. I have an announcement. Oh, more work studies? Because the work studies, if I remember correctly, because it was internship season three, season two, the work study was season four. Like, that's when the good, that was when, that's my favorite season of My Hero. I mean, if we're trying to expedite their training, this will be a step. That's exactly what I'm saying. So they're trying to get people trained and going. Increase in villain organization, especially that all might gone. This is a recipe for disaster Yeah, that would be a weird thing to say <laughs> Let's weaponize our students who are still learning Okay, do the best we can with the given situation, you know Four months, okay Oh, about trying to infiltrate the teachers? About what's going on with the teachers? I would agree. I can't personally think of any of the students as suspects, so I would point towards the teachers personally. Ah, look at all their outfits. This is vibes. Oh my god, that food looks fucking incredible. I would literally give anything to be in like a party with these guys right now, you know? Go to school with them, have them be, be the homies, you know? No, uh, they're still first years and they're doing two work studies and internship. Back to Ryukyu, I'm down. Oh. Makes sense, sent to Peter, he was like the next in command, right? Both our internship and our uh, work study are busy. Can't do it. He hasn't. He hasn't been in the public eye since the incident in Camp Camino, right? So.
So he wanted him to come back, and he wanted him to have a name. So I hope he does come back. I hope we can see Genus again, man. He was super dope in the small amount of time we saw him. Oh, come on. This is adorable. Trick or treat. We're on a holiday, but that's adorable. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna be tearing up. That's how cute that is. God damn it. What holiday is that? Demons out, demon in. Yeah, is Mirio here? Ah, uh, makes sense. <laughs> she just have never experienced any holidays because of her horrible childhood, so that's why this is so adorable. Good. That was well said by Deku at the time. That's what I'm saying. Tell me this wouldn't be such good vibes. Just chilling with the peeps. We got a happy air. We got great food. We got music. We got Jiro on the tunes. Come on. We got a damn rock star. We got composer Santa Ida. Damn, what is that? Like a cloud buster sword mixed with a fucking keyblade? I don't know. That looked dope though. Oh, is it like you just pull one, you get a random present, Sarah taped everything to everything? That's cool. That's a cool way to give gifts. <laughs> they all got such random... I mean, that's got a picture of Aoyama. That's adorable. Eri got the Buster Sword. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing about the future, especially in your guys' world, you hope that not knowing what the future holds. Like I said, for the impending doom and sadness that's about to come, that was much needed. Alright, it looks like we have an after credit scene. Are they gonna go together? Is... Is this what the movie is? You gotta be shitting me, it makes sense. Oh, you gotta be pissing my pants. All right, I'm about to start this next episode, episode 14. This one's called Off to Endeavor's Agency. Gets me way more hyped. Mm, and it's such a, such a cat and mouse game with them, you know? Okay. Oh yeah, he does. This is such an interesting time. This is so crazy. This is peak villainy. Next is your last chance. And this is the worst the heroes have been in a long time. Hawks is coming to visit Genus. Was his stomach like gone or? He lost his lungs? Or a lung? What is going on? What is happening? That's not genus in his bag, right? What's in his bag? New Year's Eve live broadcast, the last day of the year. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Practicing her writing. Your dancing and singing was amazing. Thanks for the fun show. I know, as a mom, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the Midoriya's true quirk right there, is All Might crying. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, they could literally flood their whole apartment complex. This music, one of the My Hero classics. New year began, second term. Man, does that get me excited. Us going to Endeavor's agency. <laughs> Slide <and> go. <laughs> Look at this guy again. Yeah, 
Current location, call records, real time contents. Who, who is this guy? Why are they not showing me with the laptop? I recognize his voice actor from something. This is gonna be crazy. Reluctantly. <laughs> kind of cringy. <laughs> Understandably. Understandably. Yes, he has changed a good bit. That's why I love the character development in the show. He might come up with some creative outside perspectives on how we can further his quirk or use it in a different way. I agree. That's why I'm super excited about this. Mmm, that's what Deku said to him back in the day. He's like, I'm not All Might, but Shoto's also not you. Are we getting into hero work already? No hesitation. They're ready to go. This is like a test for them. Can this guy absorb glass? Liquidize it? And the corners of Pluto's mouth depict loneliness. This guy looks crazy. Okay, that's a huge glass ball. Enlightened fallen king. What is this man going to do with this glass ball? Flash fire fist. Ooh. It's just melting. That molten glass is so dope. He is on your ass. He is. Ooh. Now they have a trap. And he melted that, and they were able to stop them immediately. We have Hawks right there. So Hawks is here. But is this a League of Villains plan, or is this just Hawks doing his normal Hawks duty? I'm curious now. If you don't let go, it'll be too late. Is this guy just like deranged? He's talking about Pluto's. That guy is a source of darkness. The light he gives off. Who? And this is their first time meeting. <laughs> yes, he is. That's the one they brought that up with like Destro in it, right? They brought that up a couple of seasons ago. Destro. Yeah. They brought him up before. So he's telling him, trying to tell him something in code. Please notice. Please pick up on these signs. Take this book, read the highlighted, see if you can decrypt this. Mm, so he said, if we have too much time on our hands. Mm. <laughs> Deku's just gonna read it just for knowledge, but <laughs> so prepared he has three extra copies. So he's definitely giving him some like clues. Twenty-two. He's a youngin. Only six years older, and he's the youngest person to break the top ten, or is the youngest person to start his own agency. Either way, that's insane. The flaming side kickers. Sidekick burning. There is a lot going on. It is the number one. It makes sense, you know. That would make a lot of sense. A hundred requests a day, that's pretty insane. Yeah, they could be a great benefit.
He's reading the highlighted sections. A hundred percent. I'm also trying to figure out what that is too. What is he trying to say? The second part, yeah. Honestly, Hawks has some good highlighting skills. Honestly, he did a very good job. Like I would have messed up already so many times. He, the enemy. Oh, the second word of each highlighted. The enemy is the liberation. The enemy is the liberation army. They number over a hundred thousand in four months they will attack to action okay this is kind of what i was talking about shit's really gonna hit the fan here soon well I can easily tell how we're going to start getting into the more deeper side and darker and crazier side of things, especially with Hawks and how interesting and how shady he's coming in. Like, I am completely on his side in terms of him infiltrating the League of Villains and doing stuff like that, but then we came to the mansion or what looked to be a mansion where slide and go was and they were talking about like the hero network and gathering information and using the spy devices implanted on hawks and stuff like that and it didn't show us the guy with the, the laptop that's one shady thing and then two when hawks went to go visit best genus and he was like happy with his recovery progress and how he's about to come back and he said that's too bad and pulled out like a, a feather sword that's another thing of shadiness like why would he do that I'm very curious, but it does seem like he wants to warn um, Endeavor about the Liberation Army. Is Destro still alive? Is the Liberation Army a thing? Are they connected to the League of Villains? They have to be. Dobby is still definitely not trustworthy, trusting of um, Hawks yet, and like, there's so much going on that I can tell this show is starting to get into some peak My Hero times. Every time I say that, you guys are like, just you wait, you haven't gotten there even close yet, but like, come on. That first episode with the Christmas party and the New Year's and Airy and everything was so nice and so well needed. I loved the vibes. I loved everything about that, honestly. It was great having the work studies come back so abruptly, but for our main three to be going to Endeavors where they can see the number one hero in action. And it's just so dope because I love seeing them in action too. Oh, if you guys heard that, that was another episode rendering. I am so excited to to keep watching this though and to find out what happens i am excited to get into this next arc i'm curious what's going to happen with hawks and sugar rocky endeavor everything if you guys enjoyed this episode please leave a like let me know your thoughts in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok and twitter all at dapper Darius. don't forget to check out the patreon where there's early access and full length of this show and all the other shows four episodes ahead make sure to check that out um, otherwise don't forget to drink water Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace.